What we're doing here is going to impact education within our division completely. Everything we're doing and everything that we try sooner or later will migrate itself back into the classroom in some way. And we're already seeing that with some of our, if you're a cyber planet user, if you're a smart board user. And this is the spot where we get to try all of that neat stuff out. And so the cyber school is really cool for that. The problem with the cyber school, and in my mind at the moment, is we've gotten too big to have that group of eight or nine teachers where we can sit around and say, okay, let's try this software package. So now we have to practice what we preach, which means when you step into this cyber world, you're actually stepping totally into the cyber world. That doesn't mean you can't come see us if you need help, but most of your help is gonna come via email or via webcast or via tutorials or via something like that. And it's a lot more lonely than it was when we first started. When we started with four teachers and we all stood there and said, well, we don't know what to do. And we sat there and discussed it back and forth. That's a little different than the scenario we're in now where we, ha we now have 39 teachers involved, 29 teachers, and we could be as many as, if 2,000 students come to us, we could be as many as 80. We can't pull all those people together in one location. Like, it's not possible. So everybody will work from a remote, remote location. There's also all sorts of talk about, we'd love to expand into the Philippines, into, the, into other locations in the world, and from an educational point of view, to be able to bring the world into a classroom, that's super exciting. That is so cool to have a, a student who is, it should be sleeping at this point in time because it's night where they're at. In the same classroom as you have the Edie Fien student, as you have the Holy Cross student. That's an exciting, vibrant community. It's the, what students are used to in their daily lives with their Facebook and all the interconnectivity that they have in, in their normal life. There's a lot of quotes that are out there now that say, when I go to school, I have to power down. I have to stop working in a global community. I have to go into the classroom and listen to one teacher. I find it boring. It's not exciting enough and all that stuff. There's so much research out there that's, that we can actually change the way education is done in our province. That's exciting as heck. To be involved with that, that's exciting. And that's why I think this is really cool. So, okay. Assistant principal's hat back on.